The Valentine season has never been about one person or thing to me. It's always been a million and one people and things because that's what love is, a million and one things. This is just a February reminder that love comes in every shape and form and I hope you don't pass it by today or any day just because love doesn't look the way you want it to. If you don't kiss in the rain, maybe fall in love with the rain itself. No lover's view across the restaurant table? Then don't miss the cotton candy sunset that's always promised at dawn. If there's no surprises on your doorstep, I think you can exchange the disappointment for all the blessings you've seen left there once before. And girls, please, if there's no chocolate heart or no company to watch that sappy rom-com with for the millionth time, then go buy yourself chocolate and watch that rom-com by yourself for the millionth time. Because a love is a million and one things, and you are one of them. And for you boys, I'm no expert by any means. In fact, I don't understand you at all, but if you're sad too, I'm sure one of your guys would adore to spend an evening watching football and cooking tacos with you. Boys love too. We all do. Love is not the end-all be-all. Don't let the movies fool you. It's just enough to make life a bit sweeter. The month of pure, breathtaking love is upon us. A trance of romance falls and lingers like sweet perfume in all shades of red and white throughout the days and nights of February. It is the most wonderful time of the year once again. The hopeless romantics wear their hearts on their sleeves, and the cynics are completely outraged. As for me, I am neither. When the 1st of February finally arrives, I simply put on my rose-colored glasses and keep my eyes fixed above. The more I look up, the more I become a messenger of God's love, a real-life Cupid. Revealing love is my duty, God is my bow, the Holy Spirit my arrow. Yes, we, we are all cupids uncovered. <laughs> 